Okay, so we're going to do a bit of Vox Sculpting um, with regards to uh, making something we can use in Poser on a figure. Uh, so what we need is to get our figure into uh, 3D coat. Uh, the problem is that Poser scale is ridiculously small, um, so if you import it just as it is, it won't work. Um, you won't be able to see the damn thing. So what you need is to either to rescale it in another package, or if you don't have another package, uh, Objection Scaler will do the trick for you, which is an excellent little product. Uh, so you grab your input file, uh, which I have here. Uh, we grab an output file, which I've already done, but we'll do it again. I will enlarge it by a thousand and convert. And when it's complete, job done. So in the 3D code, go to Merge, select Mesh, pick your rescaled um, item, and then it comes. Now, we have a small problem here, uh, in that when I press Enter, uh, to commit the model. I don't think it's going to be very neat. Let's give it a try. So that's off thinking now. Now the problem is it doesn't seem to know what to do with the eyelashes and things like that. So you get all this business here. Um, so before you do your scale you're better off just taking the head off or only actually importing the parts you're going to work on. Uh, so I'm going to go and do that now. Uh, and I'll be back in a second. I just thought I'd show you that before uh, I go any further. Okay, so I've uh, redone that then and uh, just taken the head off and all the uh, subcomponents of the head, like the mouth parts, etc. Uh, so when I press enter now, that should come in and just give me the body. Uh, the, the space on the neck will look a bit strange, but that should be okay. Now, what we're going to do uh, is just alter this mesh uh, once it's finished doing what it's doing. Um, more into the shape of the model that we're going to make. Obviously we're going to come out from the base mesh. You can't dig into it because that will cause poke through. Uh, let's hope this comes in uh, sometime soon. I'll pause till it does. OK, so uh, let's come back in again. Now the, the scale you bring it up by, um, you know, it's largely a bit of experimentation. I bought it up by a um, uh, thousand. Uh, I've tried it higher. Uh, unfortunately, the higher it goes, the um, more complex the model is in terms of polygons and such like. Uh, my machine won't handle um, the next level up, ten thousand. Uh, but you know, whatever you can work with, whatever you can work with not a problem. Uh, right, let's give this a uh, material now. There we go. So as I said, what we're going to do is change this model to be more like what we're going to do. And I plan to make um, uh, like a corset thing. Um, the reason I'm doing it in voxels is because uh, of this cleavage uh, and a uh, uh, bump. Obviously with the retopo tool that will stick to that mesh and will give it a massive uh, kind of cleavage to the model. Well, I want it. What I want is kind of a transition across there uh, without um, that deep. Uh, um, I'm trying to think of the word for it. Uh, well, cleavage. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I want to fill that in. And to do that, I'm going to use the fill tool. Now the fill tool will try and bring uh, the mesh together to kind of a similar level. And the closer together two kind of faces are, in terms of uh, you know, in terms of uh, their opposition, um, the more the fill will work. 
uh, but obviously the further apart they are, uh, it won't start to recognise it. So just working in there with the fill tool to bring that cleavage out a bit. There we go. So I'm just going to put the symmetry on. And do under the breasts as well. There we are. So the mesh doesn't sort of like uh, clamp up underneath the breasts really uh, tightly. And I'm going to just do over the breasts to smooth them out. And that should bring everything uh, away from the mesh. Obviously we don't want it too close to the mesh, of the original mesh, uh, because then it won't work. Now just a point here, uh, if you model directly against the mesh, um, that's all well and good. However, uh, when you try and line this up in Poser, the closer it is, the harder it will be. Um, that's just kind of a, a bit of a fact of life. And unfortunately, when we imported this model, it changed the origin. Uh, now, what we would prefer is for the origin to be at zero, 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 and the feet to be somewhere around where her thighs are now. Um, there is, as far as I can tell, nothing we can do about that at the minute, uh, which means that we will have to adjust its position when we import it back into Poser again. And to make that as easy as is humanly possible, uh, modelling it a little bit far away from the mesh itself uh, will make that easier. OK. So I'm just going to fill in that back crease so that it doesn't look like when we do the modelling thing that it's just exactly uh, following her body contour. Let's do that same around the shoulder blade. And if you were doing a pair of uh, trousers, pants, whatever you want to call them, uh, you, know, you could do a uh, bum as well. Okay. So just go in there a bit. Fill in the tummy button. Right, so this is the basic uh, kind of process. Uh, but it's not the end of it. Um, if you wanted to model details, you can do them here. Uh, but you have to put some thought into that. Uh, because there are going to be some details which are better modelled and there are some details which are better put into a displacement um, yeah, taking into account everybody you know, has different kind of uh, specification of machine I mean, your machine may be able to handle super duper high res meshes um, but other people's might not and the more detailed your base mesh is, um, the less likely it is to work on everybody else's machine. So, yeah, I'm guessing that if you're doing very fine details, it's probably much better done in the uh, displacement. And if you're doing uh, larger details, it's probably better done here. Okay. So that's kind of a starting point, that's where I'll end this bit, and the next time we come back we'll model in some detail, and then we'll do the top one. Okay, see you soon.